All right. I'm going to get right into the night game tonight in football, and then we'll come back and maybe talk about the day games. I've, Like I said, I've previewed all the games already, or at least given a pick uh, on the games here earlier in the week. So I'm skipping right to the night game right here in Las Vegas with the Steelers and the Raiders tonight. The Raiders, a short week. Coming in and long travel. That does that <laughs> to me. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't want to say handicap over, but kind of is. Um, this is a you know a league where a lot of the I don't want to say favoritism or the selections can kind of come off the travel and everything. This league is kind of predictable that way. But they had the Monday night game, and now they're going to be playing. Um, you know, yeah, it's Sunday night. It's a day, you know, six day week, but they still have travel to the West. So Pittsburgh, yeah, they looked good against the Browns, I guess, but it was those two defensive touchdowns that, you know, they needed to win that game 26 to 22. The Steelers have given up 800 yards in their first two games of the season. And you know what? I was, I've been talking about is the teams that are running the football in the NFL appear to be the teams that are having the most success. Um, the Steelers are not running the football particularly well so far, a team that, well, we expect them to be able to have some running game, uh, it, you know, through the years, right, to complement uh, their uh, passing attack. Now, we know it's been a little bit different with, uh, you know, Having a younger quarterback, look, Pickett is the uh, is the guy at this point. They'd like to try to see if he can develop into a Steeler type of quarterback that they need. I mean, he, you know, if he could, you know, they love these type of uh, you know quarterbacks throughout the years. So, not saying he's in the Big Ben mode, but I would say that the Steelers drafted him. Uh, you know. I don't know if it's to be a franchise or just try to develop them into the type of quarterback that they need. But when you've only run for an average of 50 yards a game, you got to do more if your quarterback is Kenny Pickett. So Pittsburgh, they are really good uh, in tight ball game. You know, it, it, when the game's expected to be tight. I mean, against the spread, they are 26 and 14 uh, when the spread is a field goal or less. So, Pretty uh, impressive, and Steelers also six two and one in their last nine games against the spread, coming off of a win. So, I think that uh, you know bodes pretty well here for uh, the Steelers, but not as far as this travel is concerned. That's what has me concerned. Uh, look, the move has obviously been on the Raiders here, right? Because we know that uh, the what was it? It was it opened. What was it? One was it a pick? It opened uh, Steelers one and a half at a lot of places. It opened a pick them at some others, and now I'm even seeing threes out there. I'm taking you know, I'm taking the Raiders, so I guess I better put a three out there. But that does start to sound a little bit sticky. You don't expect the Raiders to cover uh, necessarily a lot of numbers, and uh, to lay some points here at home. I mean, that's what I'm gonna. The end up doing. Now, Steelers have had trouble facing the Raiders. They haven't covered the last four meetings on the road in the series, but they haven't been uh, all here, uh, certainly. But uh, Raiders played their first two games on the road. They did, you know, get a win. So uh, that helps. But they are having trouble when they get into the red zone. That's where the Raiders, you'd think they might be a little better considering their personnel considering Garoppolo's modest success as a red zone quarterback. So uh, the Raiders not that good uh, against the spread coming off a loss and, you know, they're not exactly the best of, of home favorites, but I would think that in this spot with that travel, I'm going to take the Raiders at, Three sounds very dangerous. I would definitely be buying down to at least a two, maybe even the money line here uh, in this game. Look, you have um, a game that, I don't know, it does seem like it might be a lower-scoring 
type of game to me. Steelers open the favorite. Raiders have moved to the favorite now. Unders gone four and one in the last five meetings between these two teams. Raiders have won six of the last nine straight up. So I think the move is significant. I think the perception is grab the points with the Steelers here, but man, when the move is on a team like the Raiders, uh, I have a tendency to kind of, you know, uh, tail that move a little bit. You know, pretty weird that it's gone all the way up to three here. Any comments from the chat on this one? Darren wants to go under in this one, and he'll take the Raiders here. So I still believe that Garoppolo is a you know the quarterback that the Raiders will want here. I mean, obviously that's what they're stuck with, but. You know, looking back, we'll see. I mean, but it might not be a downgrade from Carr or anything like that. Maybe so many of those wins for Jimmy were on good teams at that 41 and 18 record everyone refers to. Hey, I even refer to it because I like quarterbacks that win. But it's going to start picking it up here with the Raiders a little bit. The Raiders always think they're going to be, you know, a contentious team, a Super Bowl contender. You can't put that team in that category here at this point. But with this division wide open now, you know, as far as, uh, you know, with Kansas City already having a, a stumble a little bit, look, they're head and shoulders above. But, um, you know, right now it's all these other teams that will be chasing the Chiefs and maybe one of them get a wild card. But, does seem like um, it's a one team race. You know, who's going to, which of the teams are going to contend? The Chargers have that 0 2 start they've got to overcome, and they're on the road today. Blake might lean under. Thanks, everybody. We'll enjoy the game tonight. 